So it's just about time of the announcement. Welcome to everybody who's made it here on time. And we should we give it a minute more maybe before we start off? We have just about half the number of people who had registered, but I guess that's a good Zoom registration number. While you're waiting, we do have a poll, right, Kartika? So yeah, please feel free to engage in this poll while we wait for people to trickle in. Welcome to all our potential applicants seeking clarifications. Welcome to the folks who are just curious and want to know what this is all about. And that's really exciting to know that six out of nine people who answered this, which is 70% of all of you have played around a little with AI for the arts. So welcome to the Be Fantastic Within AI and Performing Arts Fellowship Info Session. My name is Kamya Ramachandran. I'm the founder and director of Be Fantastic, along with my co-founder, Archana Prasad, who's not here with us today. We also have here Irini from Future Everything. And Irini, I'll let you introduce yourself. Hello everyone, uh, great to see you all. So uh, as Kamiya said, I'm the uh, creative director of Future Everything, and we are looking forward to be involved in this project. So Future Everything, uh, if you haven't come across our work, we are an art organization based in Manchester, and we've been exploring uh, like connections between art, uh, technology, science, and uh, societal issues uh, for a long time. Actually, Future Everything has been around since uh, 95 and we're currently uh, running a year round program of activity rather than the annual festival. Over Thank back to you, Kamia. Yeah, and the reason Be Fantastic and Future Everything come together and Kartika, maybe we can move to the next slide. Uh, also to quickly say we have uh, Kartika from our team Jones from the Be Fantastic team and uh, Rujuta from the Be Fantastic team as well. Um, so just really quickly, the reason Be Fantastic and Future Everything have come together is for precisely the introduction that Irini gave all of you. We are not as old as Future Everything, so we do have a lot to learn from uh, Future Everything, but we're really happy that we are also we also work with the intersection of art and technology. We are from Bangalore and we are really excited about pulling together global communities to make positive changes in the world around us. 
And uh, for this fellowship, we are also partnering with Natya STEM Dance Company. Natya STEM is one of India's best recognized dance companies. They do both traditional Indian dance in the form of Kathak and also contemporary dance practices. So yeah, so it's, a, it's an interesting coming together of all our three organizations and more, if we can go on to the next. Um, we also have our communication partner. Oh, sorry, uh, Irini, this is your slide and then I'll talk about who's coming together. Okay, great, thank you. So, so yes, yeah, so as Kamia started saying, uh, Future Fantastic is basically um, uh, a series of uh, artistic commissions, it's a series of uh, collaborations and artistic exchange and also a festival which will be the final kind of uh, outcome uh, that will take place in, uh, Bang in Bangalore uh, in March next year. So the idea of the project and the main purpose of the project is to bring together uh, emerging technologies uh, for in particular artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, but also uh, visual and performance Forming artists who can develop ideas together collaboratively and co-create artworks um, through these different stages, which we're going to talk about, the fellowship program, uh, which is what you will hear more about today, and also a mentorship program. And uh, one element that, of course, is very central to the whole program is uh, a response to um, thinking about artificial intelligence and the challenges, but also opportunities that come around that, but also in the context of like societal issues and in particular climate and environmental crises. So um, can we go to the next slide, Kartika? Thank you. So as Kamia said, we have uh, some amazing partners being part of that, and we are really we, we're looking forward to work with uh, Be Fantastic with Be Fantastic and uh, Jaga as well in in India, and we're looking forward to work with some of you as well. Hopefully, if you are applying to for for the program. So and uh, just to say that British Council, um, uh, Goethe Institute, and of course, like, yeah, are the uh, supporters of this, and we are um, very uh, grateful to have their. Um, collaboration and, and uh, yeah, main support. And can we go to the next slide? And just to uh, so just to kind of mention a little bit about the reason why we've got this session today. So you have seen you would have seen the open call that came out uh, if, uh, some time ago, which is the Be Fantastic Within, which is the first stage of the Future Fantastic program overall. And uh, Be Fantastic Within is actually the, the fellowship program and mentorship program and a chance to bring together people from different backgrounds, from different creative practices, uh, in particular performing arts, but also a moving image and, to, and creative technology as well, to have a chance to uh, meet each other, to exchange ideas, but also to explore artificial intelligence technologies more in depth and in response to create um, uh, work performative uh, pieces that uh, respond to the future fantastic uh, e uh, uh, ideas around like how do we respond to uh, environmental crises, but also how do we think about AI and how it has been impacting uh, our society. So, uh, so what what you what we are offering participants through this fellowship program is obviously a chance to. Um, be in contact and have mentorship sessions with experts in this uh, in these areas in this field uh, to uh, a chance to, to meet each other and uh, build a creative network but also collaborate of course like knowledge sharing from like performing arts uh, creative technology but also uh, thinking about climate uh, crisis issues and environmental crisis issues as well. And uh, as I mentioned before, um, we have an opportunity for uh, people to form um, groups and pit for uh, a production grant uh, and develop work that will be exhibited and presented at the Future Fantastic Festival, which will happen next year, uh, March, in, in Bangalore. So we'll move to the next slide, and I think it's Kamia. Kamia will be telling you more about the program. And just how are we going about this is what the next few slides will clarify, hopefully. Uh, we do have a whole bunch of time for answers and questions and answers. So 
Um, we do have some really interesting mentors. Madhu Natraj from the STEM dance company uh, will hold the space of choreography. We have Jake Elvis from the UK who is an AI artist and has, has done some really fun stuff with AI and performing art. We have Bjorn Lengers from Germany and uh, he has also been practicing in this investigating in this area of AI and art. You'll find more of their detailed bios in our website and we will share that link in the chat. Um, we also have Hassan who is our creative tech lead from India. Uh, a quick understanding of who can apply. This is a little bit, might feel a little bit complicated, but I hope to clarify that here. Um, we encourage filmmakers, creative technologists, and of course, movement artists, performers, choreographers, creative directors from India. But we also encourage filmmakers and creative technologists from the from UK and Germany to participate. Um, why are we doing this? Essentially, a lot of the grants that we have received was still given, uh, was still applied for and granted when COVID was alive and well. This is before the Omicron wave took over. So funders are still a little bit reluctant with transporting a lot of people across the world. So um, keeping that in mind, we have restricted the performers and the movement artists to be within India and preferably closer to Bangalore. But however, considering this will be an online program, we would really like filmmakers and creative technologists to get on board, get online, and with the hope that as things open up, maybe we'll try to find a way to bring these collaborators down to India when uh, the time is right. Um, the program itself is going to have two large components. We first have the primer session. We will start the primer session 16th of May. It runs for three weeks. It will end 3rd of June. We expect it to have 18 hours of online time together with the group. And you will have about 18 hours of kind of self work over those three weeks. What will we do in these 18 hours of time? Online, we'll discuss the history and the current moment of AI and ML. We will be exposed to a whole bunch of tools and technologies for art making. Um, the mentors will share their experience both in terms of creative tech as well as choreography and performance. And you, as participants, everybody in the room gets to showcase your work to each other, make friends, network, collaborate, throw in ideas. It's kind of this large space for knowledge sharing, networking, and both peer, peer learning as well as expert to peer exchange. So that's what we expect the primer to be. At the end of the primer, we hope that we have enough of a sense of the people in the room. We're hoping to take in about 25 fellows. So it should be good. It's a small enough number for you to get to know each other over that period of time. Um, at the end of the primer session, which does not mean 3rd of June, but we have some time and I'll go over that timeline shortly. Groups will come together, put their ideas together and pitch for uh, the funding. At this point, I believe we have two pieces that will be supported by the British Council, one piece supported by the Goethe Institute. Um, and so, so once the jury has gone through the proposals and selected it, the selected groups will move on to the master session. The master session is kind of has a long window of development of the works. We expect it to go from 3rd of August to the 20th of January. What will you get in the master session is touch points with your mentors. Um, really a lot of time to collaborate with the group. And as needed, we'll have 
clinics with experts and peer reviews with the other groups that have been selected as well. And a quick run through of the timeline. To give you a sense, the primer workshops of three weeks will be 16th of May to 9th, 3rd of June. After that, we have two weeks and the proposals of submissions by groups will be on the 18th of June. We'll take a couple of weeks for the mentors and the jurors to review. The announcement of the commission of the pieces, the kind of winning proposals will be before the 20th of August, but we'll kind of do it on a rolling basis between the 1st and the 20th. And then we have three windows for the master's workshop. So we've said 3rd to 12th of August, 2nd to the 11th of November, and 11th to the 20th of January. So these are the three windows within which you will have touch points with the mentors and the other clinics and, and the peer reviewers just to see how our work is progressing in order to be ready for a March end showcase in 2023. To bolster this collaborative working space, we also have the dialogue and the showcase. The dialogue is a space for experts to engage critically around the theme, select themes. So it might be creating tech art, it could be showcasing tech art, it could be tech art and climate, it could, you know, it could be tech art and society. So we have kind of broad themes and we curate around those themes to just really support the development process that everybody goes through. We also will have showcases, which is at the end of the primer session, when we have uh, a, show, we, a whole bunch of proposals and ideas, we imagine doing one interesting open house online of the showcase of ideas. So that would be one interim showcase. We would also have the March 2023, which is our final and fabulous sh big showcase physical in the festival. This activity timeline also gives you a sense of when the dialogues will be, hoping for one a month. Of course, it's not mandatory that you attend every dialogue, but it is highly rec recommended because we really work hard to make it relevant to the program itself. Um, yeah, so that is the, um, that's in a gist. And quickly to say, we have extended the dialogue, to, uh, sorry, extended the submission date to be 18th of April which is Monday and not this coming Friday. So that's really like a quick um, overview. We would really like now to open it up to questions. Please feel, you know, this is not a really formal space. Please shoot out your questions. Maybe you could raise hands and then we will take questions as they come. Um, and we can go over the details to help you understand any parts that are still confusing. Do we have some questions on the chat? Yes, Tim, while we're looking for questions, please go ahead. It was, yeah, thank you. That was that was uh, interesting. That was just, is it is it performance Led. I mean, working with the dance companies, is that one of the expected outcomes that it will be it will be performative, the actual yes. end piece? Yes, this particular one is performative. performative. Um, we, however, that being said, we are also looking for pro collaborative projects be between the India and UK that are slightly more uh, on the visual arts uh, side of things. So if you have something that's veering away from performance, please still feel free to connect with us. Uh, and we can try to think of other ways to collaborate. Monica. You say you're a Brazilian in the middle of your German citizenship recognition and you ask if you can apply. 
Are you currently living in Germany? Monica, are you still here? Hi. Hi, hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm living in France now. You're living in France right now? Yeah. Okay, I can get back to you on that. I haven't had somebody ask us this question, but I can check and let you know. Thank you. Uh, I think my recognition will be ready by the end of the year. Okay. Because my, my mother's family is uh, German, so. Sure. I will, um, I will check that and we can revert on that. Okay, thank you. And then we have Jamie. Would you like to ask your question, Davy? Hello, everyone. You're just saying hi. Um, Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> You're just saying hi. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that I've got um, partners already in India. Um, can I bring them into an application? Absolutely. Partners? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and your partners in India are also dancers or? Museums. Are... Museums. Museums, okay. So yeah, I'd want to collaborate with, with dancers from India if I put in an application. So do I find dancers to collaborate through you? So we, yeah, we are hoping that the call will attract dancers who would like to dabble with the art, digital arts and AI. So, but if you have dancers that you're already interested in collaborating with, you could encourage them to uh, come in as well. Okay. Irini, would you like to respond to that question? Uh, yeah, about the, uh, yeah, I think that's absolutely, I mean, that's the, um, the purpose of the uh, Be Fantastic Within is either to find people to collaborate during the program uh, who have signed up as well, or if you, as Kamia said, if you have already people in mind that uh, might be interested, then it's just to encourage them to be part of this program and then come together to, to, to propose like a, a project. So absolutely, yeah. I think there was a question from Uma as well asking uh, about and Raj as well saying about the, asking about the application process and the how many examples, uh, Uma is asking how many examples we want to see. And I mean, the application process is quite straightforward. It's a series of questions and then it asks you to attach some, uh, you know, links to portfolio or documents. So we don't need like, like many, many examples, but just to give like some th things that are, yeah, are great. Thank you, Kartika. Yeah, so yes, need... as you can see, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go for it, Irini. So yes, yeah, so as you can see, it's just like uh, quite, uh, yeah, straightforward, like a, a, a CV, like statement, just to, to, uh, to help us understand like how this program will benefit your artistic, your creative practice and what you, you know, how, why you want to be involved basically. And then, yeah, you can attach, you can send uh, links or attach a PDF in terms of portfolio. So yeah, and there is a limit in terms of, um, uh, size so yeah so smaller if you can just uh, send us like and then the evaluation criteria are all listed in the application so link so if you follow the application link you can just find everything that all the details in terms of like how applications will be assessed and based on what and what you need to submit but it's uh, hopefully it's quite straightforward but you can you can also contact us uh, if you have any questions yeah, so we have befantastic.in. Uh, this is the link and we put it on the chat. If you actually click this link, you should have all the, everything that we went through right now in the deck is on this link. What are the important dates? How do I apply? Uh, what are our time commitments? What are the components of the program? Um, yeah, so all of this is, all of what we've spoken about is really in this FAQ list.
Do we have any other questions? I've stopped reading the chat now. So uh, Uma is asking our definition of a creative technologies. So that's a really good question, actually, because it's a very, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very confusing thing. So when we talk about the creative technology, uh, te technologies, we're just talking about uh, people who are like, uh, who have been um, either having like, you know, a tech, a tech background, but also they are interested in creative practices or they, they are bringing like artistic practices into technology or the other way around. So anyone who has been interested in like, you know, playing, who has a, who has a level of like, uh, some level of expertise with some of these technologies who have been uh, in, interesting in doing work with artificial intelligence, with machine learning, but also with like, uh, you know, for example, could be wearable technology that you find sometimes in, in dance, like, or, you know, uh, yeah, creative technologies working, collaborating with dancers or are coming from this background. So it's quite a broad definition, but yeah, we would like to understand like, what is, yeah, what, what is it that you're interested in? What type of technologies you have been um, working with and what expertise you, you have and what you would like to bring into this? I hope that answers the question, Uma. Do we other have any other questions or clarifications? Um, can I can I jump in and ask a question? Um, I was just going to say, um, ba based on what Irene said, um, to do with the creative technologists and their backgrounds. Um, are we going to get it during any part of the program any any kind of skills training or any kind of software training and what platforms or or kind of um, you know what platforms or languages or whatever? What do you have anything in mind in in terms of that at this stage? Yeah, we do have a whole bunch of um, tools. I, um, I guess a lot of it is about ways of thinking, understanding what AI is and how it came to be. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's a series of lectures that are kind of videos that you can work through at home. And it will give you a, a set of tools at the end of every lecture that you can just start playing with. These are free Great. open source tools that um, you can start playing with. We also do have, um, and I think now it's a bit, when we started this fellowship, we had API keys for GPT-3, but uh, you know, we can, we, we can open mm -hmm. that up as well to the community. Um, so things like that. We will help you understand and play with a whole bunch of tools like this. And what we really hope is that you play with such tools, collaboratively share experience together and come up with ideas saying, oh my God, would it be so fun to do, put this together with this and have this experience? So that's really what we're hoping happens at the end of this. Amazing, thank you. Uh, Kami, I think, uh, I think Raz has a question as well. Raz, do you want to uh, ask the question or do you want me to just go through it? So. Uh, Raz is asking if it's mandatory to have worked on an AI-based project to be eligible for this fellowship, which uh, not no actually the that's the whole point of this uh, fellowship and mentorship program is to give an opportunity to people who didn't have the chance to do that before, but they are interested and excited about playing with AI and uh, these tools. So so yeah, so anyone who is welcome who uh, yeah, and you don't need to have that background. And I guess a follow up that to that then is Jamie, your question of what tech support would be available. Um, we're hoping we have a lot of technologists who apply as well. Uh, so one layer of tech support is hopefully we have enough people in the room who understand technology and can be part of collaborative groups. The second level of technology is creative mentorship, creative tech mentorship where folks, especially folks like Bjorn have come from the computer science background to the arts. So they hold that technology space quite strongly. Uh, we also set up, depending on the needs of the group, clinics with experts, who, creative technologist experts. So pulling in just, just technologists is a little hard because lending yourself to a creative practice 
needs a little bit of a shift in mindset. So we try to pull in folks like that, but that's really based on the need of the community. Anybody else? Questions, comments? Siley and Monica, it looks like you're ready to roll. <laughs> Uma, you ask, what is the budget for production grant for the second stage? Uh, and what is the funding for? So I think there will be a total production grant of 4,000 pounds, Irini? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll be articulating that better as soon as you get in, but the production grant is 4,000 um, pounds. That's per, per commission, just to clarify. Right? Yes. And what can it be applied for? So this can include your artist fee, any software that you need to buy, um, you know, it, so it, it includes all your conceptualization and development of the piece. For presenting the piece in Bangalore, we will be fundraising locally. So the lights and the sounds and the technology, all of that for the physical production of it will be over and above this uh, 4,000 pound grant. What relationship will the British Council have as the project goes along? Irini, maybe you can take that. Sorry. Uh, so, so British Council, obviously, they are uh, the, the primary supporter for, for this, for the overall uh, project. And we, we are going to have um, support from them in terms of like, uh, from like, you know, on the ground kind of like promotion uh, or, or, or across like the project as well, but also uh, support in terms of like any, uh, you know, uh, anything on the ground that we might need in terms from like risk assessments or like, uh, yeah, just evaluation forms, like how to, uh, yeah, liaise with audiences, etc. So, uh, but the major thing uh, in terms of like the British Council is their uh, marketing and comms tools which are quite wide and the they go beyond they span beyond like uk and india of course so although this project is focusing on like uk india and uh german kind of collaborations it is it is going to be uh, more widely advertised and promoted Also, sorry, I forgot to say that we will be documenting, obviously, <laughs> the process and uh, and obviously the final uh, the final project as well and all outcomes. Any other clarifications? All right. I guess if nobody else has anything, we have a quick poll. Do let us know. And um, for folks here, whether you're applying or not, please follow Future Everything, befantastic.in. And yeah, we hope to see you on the other side. And please feel free to pass this around to people that you know who you who might be good um, to be part of the group. Yeah, thank you all for 
uh, attending. It's great to meet you. I hope I hope some of you will be applying. Yes, thank you, Radeed. Sure, Raj, please ask. So Raj, we're encouraging uh, India, UK and India, Germany collaborations. Can you just expand on who your collectives or your collaborators would be and feel free to unmute yourself. Hello. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, might be. So, yeah, I was thinking to collaborate with a few of my friends who are more into technology field. So like I am not well versed. So can we do that? You and your uh, background is what? Uh, I am a photographer design. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. mostly, mostly into visual arts, so those kind of things, but not much into technology. So that was interesting. Okay. Yeah, please bring your technology friends in. Um, the idea is to find one person from across the pond. So if you feel like you have visual arts and they have technology, and you find, I don't know, another performing artist. See, here's the thing, performing artists are from India. So you do have to find not just a performing artist in India, you will also have to find either a filmmaker or a creative technologist from the UK to uh, kind of round up your group. Because the outcome of this fellowship would really like to be a performative piece. So I think you'll need to think through that, but yes, at this point, uh, there's no reason to not have a collective come in. Does that answer your question? Give you some clarity? Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Lord. Yeah, especially for the primer session, it's just a meet and greet and understand people and motivations, share ideas, come together. So, uh, yeah. If you have technologists, please have them apply, especially if they're interested in making creative works with their technology. All right. Is everybody all good? Okay, see you on the other side. Thank you so much for your time and energy. Thank you. Yes. We hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. And even if you don't apply, please keep a watch on our social media. You will have access to all the dialogues and the online showcases just to keep your interest going. So yeah, do stay in touch with us anyway. But we hope you apply. <laughs> All righty, good night, good morning. Thank you, thank you. Where you're from. Dibyendu, how are you? Hello. How are you, Dibyendu? Good to yeah, see I'm you. Good, I'm good. Just, just a minute. Just hold for a So, Dibyendu was in our first fellowship.